And now we're going to talk about a topic that has become cliche, relationships, because relationships are a learning module to learn more about yourself. So what do I mean when I say relationships are learning modules to learn more about yourself? This is what I mean. The person you attempt to love is going to trigger the parts of you that are unbalanced. And you're gonna trigger the parts of them that are unbalanced. And if you pay close attention, you'll notice that the things that you trigger within each other are usually polar opposites. This is what love is always trying to do. It's trying to assist you in your inner healing. So when you step into a relationship as a student, as opposed to stepping into a relationship to get something from someone or to gain status or whatever other reason you may jump into a relationship, when you step into it as a student, you're stepping into it on a higher path. And when two people realize that the relationship is meant to trigger the imbalances within each other, when the trigger occurs, they can help each other heal that part of themselves. And if that happens, they come to the middle and go up. Another trigger, they both balance out each side, they come up. I call this the balance and query theory. You can put two friends, two romantic partners in front of me and they can tell me on each opposite end what the problem is. And I can find truth within both sides of the argument. And that truth will point to the imbalance on either side. This dance between two polar opposites is attempting to get you to come more and more to the middle. Why? The middle is where presence is, where God is. The more you come into the middle, the more you connect with the God within you. And this is what relationships are attempting to do, to bring you more into balance, to bring you more into the mental.